interacting with oracle db server the next chapter sql segment in sql sql used to retrieve a row from the database using select command make changes to the row data to the rows in the database using dml command control a transaction with commit rollback or set point command PL SQL does not support data definition language, DDL, that is create, drop, alter, these are not supported. PL SQL does not directly support data control language like brand, revoke. You have to use dynamic SQL to execute DDL and DCL like DCL commands. Dynamic SQL will cover later. Select statement in PHSQL clause. The into clause is required. Queries must return only one row. Earlier also I said that when you do a select into, the query must return a one. Select statement within PHSQL. If the query returns no record, it will give no data found. If it returns more than one row, it will give, gives the error too many rows. So we have to be sure that it returns one way. So if you write a statement like select hard date sys date into hard date sys date from employees that employee ID is equal to employee ID, where we have an employee ID 176 assigned, but this this will this will not work because Employee ID is the name of the database column. So when you do employee ID is equal to employee ID, it will take uh, the, the database column name will take precedence. So it is writing, it is like writing one is equal to one. So it's always true. So it will return all the employees. And if it returns all the employees, it will give the error exact fetch return more than requested number of rows. So data manipulation in insert, update, delete, merge, we can do all this in PLSQL using DML commands. SQL cursor, SQL cursor is a cursor is a pointer to the private memory area allocated by Oracle server. A cursor is used to handle the result of a result set of a select statement. There are two types of cursors, implicit cursor which is created and managed internally by Oracle server to process SQL statement. Whenever you write a SQL statement, an implicit cursor is opened and closed. An explicit cursor is something which is declared explicitly by the program. SQL cursor that you have already learned that you can include SQL statement that return a single Row in PSQL block. The data retrieved by SQL server should be held in variable using into clause. The SQL server allocates a private memory called the context area for processing SQL statement. The SQL statement is passed and processed in this area. Information required for processing and information retrieved after processing are all stored in this area. You have no control over this area because it is internally managed by Oracle server. A cursor is a pointer to the context area. However, the cursor is an implicit cursor is automatically managed by Oracle server. When the executable block issues a selection, create SQL, creates an implicit cursor. So implicit cursor, you don't have to do anything. It is Oracle internal that it creates an implicit cursor to the context area. <coughs> SQL cursor attribute, but you can use the SQL cursor attributes for implicit cursor like SQL percent found, SQL percent not found, SQL percent go found. So that's it about it. Let's run this. Let's see some examples. So here having having is a reserved word. You cannot have having as a variable. If you do that, it will give you an error. 
you cannot you can declare a variable in the name of a function but you should not do that you should not do that that is not a good practice <coughs> so this is an example write a blog that receives the salary of employee 100 in a variable b cell gives the salary 100 in variable b b new cell update employee 100 with this new cell insert new department called test with id 1 so this is an example so we are selecting the salary the old salary we are printing new salary is the old salary plus 100 then we are updating the employee with the new salary then we are inserting into department <coughs> with the value of 1 and test so we write from this this is a new salary is 24100 we have increased by now if we run this statement 100 and salary is 24100 this so is salary is updated in the database state Also, if we can see that the new department is created, test department. Remember, PS equal does not return an error if an update delete statement does not affect any rows in the underlying table. So there is no employee with employee ID as minus nine eighty nine. So if you write within PS equal delete. From employees by the employee it is equal to minus nine eighty nine. It won't give you any error, but it will not delete anything. It won't give you any error as well. Select star from employees. The department ID is equal to twenty. There are two employees. So now zero is updated. We want to see a square person count. So if we run this, so see two records are updated. So if we run this update statement, two records will get updated. Select star from employees by department ID. Here, if we run this statement, contains two records to be retrieved. Here, we are updating the employees, setting salary to salary plus thousand. Where department ID is going to nine 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 nine. There is no employee with department ID nine nine nine. So SQL person found is actually false. So if it is false, it prints the SQL contains no record history. So here the SQL contains no record history. So this is about some cursor cursor variables. Cursor variables. Okay. so we have covered till chapter 5 till today we'll continue in the next day